slow key, and I am. I say I am Mr. Superfax. And it feels so good to be back. I'm off YouTube punishment. All right, they told me to sit my truth telling ass in the corner. But now I'm back. All right. And we on some fuck shit. Okay. First things first, I need y'all to hit that like button. Thank you kindly. Also, I want to welcome you to the low key T family. I can't even keep, I can't even. Wow. Meanwhile in Atlanta. Okay. Uh, if you're a newcomer, definitely subscribe. Um, and before we even get into this fuck shit, man, <laughs> every day, every day, uh, definitely shoot over to the Mr. Superfax store. Um, you know, the, the clothing is designed by yours truly, but it's inspired by all of the kings and queens that rock with my channel. A lot of honorable merchandise over here. So the link uh, to the to the Mr. Superfax store will be in the description okay now we're gonna get through this uh, i got a couple points i want to make about this this shit is it's just out of here all right let me just give me a second bear with me family bear with me now we got the young and q in the building what's good q what's going on with you you straight you straight you good you all right okay <sighs> meanwhile in atlanta transsexual rapper candy Okay, it's always a motherfucking candy running wild somewhere. Okay, all right, out here, every slut's name it starts with a K. Respectfully, tell me I'm lying. Out here with a whole music video on the trap. Um, so the artist's name is Candy. I guess uh, if, uh, feature the name of the song is called Bankhead, featuring J Will. The official music video is uh it's it's man, it's have you I've never seen it looked like cell block eight, but you know, outdoors. <laughs> Shout out Jamel Collins on the check-in. Okay. Um, I cannot play the video. I don't want to get hit with whatever, you know, lawsuit, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna talk my shit. We're gonna keep it a buck. But the link to the video will be in the description. I'll repeat the link. So y'all can watch this video. will be in the description. Wow. Okay. I mean, just pure booty pirate dumb. All right. Now, the first thing I do want to, I got to throw this out here. The name of the, uh, the song is called Banghead. A tip. A tip. Where you at? This motherfucker look like a whole demon right here. Oh, shit. Hold on, let me let me show y'all what the motherfucker look at this. All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, let's get straight to it, man. <laughs> hold on, Q. Q, you said the nigga candy funny on. Look, this is my first time I'm even familiar with this motherfucker, but I just don't understand how this is even possible in rap when you think about where how hip hop started. When you think about where we came from, what type of corner did we turn? What kind of fuck shit is this? <laughs> and pause everything. Pause everything. You got Kimmy Cakes in the building. She said, you, talk you talking about Atlanta. Okay. Um, Let's get to a couple points, man. Um. You got to listen to the song for yourself because the bars in this song is crazy. Um, and every nigga in this video, you already you already know what time it is with them. That, you, you know, I'm just tired of this gang, gangster them, Omar. Yo, Omar from The Wire, he, he did too good of a job. He, his acting was so fucking good. He inspired niggas across the world to fuck other men in the ass. Dookie diggers. Finger stick. All right, let's go through. Um, so I, I wrote down a couple lyrics because I couldn't find the lyrics. So I, I had, God forbid I had to write this shit down just so y'all can understand the fuck shit that's going on here 
all right, the sodomite behavior that's going on over here. Now, the chorus in this song, um, Candy says, I met a fine young ass nigga from Bankhead. His dick was longer than eight legs. Um, slid in my DM. I was like, okay then. All right. Candy goes on to say, I will let them run. A, well, let me just let me just dress this up real quick. A lot of these transgenders out here, um, for instance, if you think about the transgender dude that was at GameStop and he he damn near tore the store up because he wanted um the employees or the people, you know, the customers there to call him ma'am. So but he want you know what I'm saying? Like you trying to take on this feminine facade, but you're exuberating your nigga. All you the energy you giving off is nigga energy. The motherfucker looked like he was about to turn green in that game stop. But the thing that kills me is when you have these men that are mentally ill, that's just a fact, that get dressed like this and got their belly out with the pubic hairs around their belly hole. And then they got the Nicki Minaj weaves or the they, they you know Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and this nigga buy they fucking uh bundles from the same motherfucking uh Korean lady. Keep it a bug. Okay, Ming Lee is getting paid. But my point is in the lyric that I'm about to read to y'all that this artist wrote, it just it 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 shows you the, the chaos and and the confusion. Okay, so so you a nigga that's dressed up as a chick and you got fake nails and you're twerking on niggas and all that, whatever the case may be. But you're trying to be, are you are you trying to be feminine? Okay. And if you're trying to be feminine, why would you say a bar like this? Okay. And I quote, all right. Uh Candy goes on to say, I will let them run a train on me. Choo choo. I ain't Lauren London. But I'm the new, 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 okay? Bars, I guess. I don't know what the f 2018, man. I'm done. <laughs> she said, you can't judge the whole state. Kimmy Case, we gotta, you gotta fall back. Anytime, listen, I think they said you could correct me if I'm wrong, but they said Atlanta, they said either one in two or one in three people. Has some sort of STD in Atlanta. So yeah, if that's if that stat is true, I can definitely judge that whole state. Them motherfuckers is infested over there in Atlanta, nigga. I don't even want to fly over Atlanta. Let me keep it above. <laughs> uh, Jamel says he's <laughs> he said Georgia is my home state. Roasted all way. <laughs> Oh man, he said, "God bless the the real rap culture." By the way, he a whole bisexual nigga. That nigga's gay, man. <laughs> that nigga's gay, man. Oh my god, the nigga said, "Tranny land." God damn. We're gonna go through a couple points, man. But like I said, the link to uh, the actual video will be in the description, but I'm just trying to figure out in a photo like this, what's happening here? My man right here in the red fitted with the bandana around his neck, he is really feeling himself. Literally, he's feeling himself. He got his hand on his motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? On, on it. <laughs> Do y'all see this nigga over here looking like um the motherfucking midget from... Oh my god, the nigga got nipple rings over here. Look at this motherfucker. Yo. Yo. Brother, shout out brother on the check. And he says ATL homo capital of the USA. But my point that I'm trying to make is. And this nigga in the fucking the bumblebee looking ass nigga all the way to the right, he ain't even got no drawers on. You can tell he ain't got no drawers on. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, his pants hanging off his ass. And I'm just trying to figure out what is happening here. Like, what is trying to be? What is the message here? Are you are are y'all trying? Are y'all tough? Are you? What are you trying to sell me? Maybe y'all can clue me in. But when when you see an image like this, what do you feel like? This artist or this product is trying to sell you. I don't understand. 
<laughs> I'm not saying you, Kimmy K. I'm not saying you, Kimmy K. I'm just stating facts. I'm just stating those are the numbers. There's a lot of, you know, filthy motherfuckers running around over there. I hope you continue to protect yourself at all times. Brother says bitch mode. So let's go through a couple of. Uh, a couple points. I will say this, okay? I will say this. I do respect. I'm, I'm going to always respect hard work and dedication. So whoever this person is, Candy or whoever this person is, um, I think I saw something where it said this person is from Love and Hip Hop, okay? In my personal opinion, Love and Hip Hop is the worst thing that ever happened to planet Earth. Name one Thing, name one productive thing love and hip hop has done for anybody. Let's keep it a buck. One productive thing love and hip hop has done for humanity. I bet you can't name one. Why? Because I, I can't name one. All right. Now, I do want to, I have to go back to this. We did a video a couple months ago. I almost got 50,000 views on this video. A lot of hate. A lot. It's a lot of confusion going on. TT, do you love me? This weird, strong-looking ass nigga, bitch. Okay, respectfully, right? Looking like Hulk, the nigga Hulkamania, nigga mania. What is this, bro? Well, I don't care if this is a joke or not. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, man? Nigga, that's not even a Halloween costume you would do if you was on fucking all types of drugs and shit. Like, come on, man. But my point that I'm trying to make is um, with this whole TT Do You Love Me TV show or whatever, it was it, it was either a spoof or, or whatever it was. I don't know. But the majority of people in the comment section were telling me, this is not real. It's a joke. It's a comedy. Okay? So now I have to pose this question. If you're telling me that TT isn't real... Um, this person dresses up and does spoofs and skits for fun and, and whatever the case may be. Then what the fuck is this? This person, this candy artist, is dead as serious. The motherfucker said, and I quote, I will let them run a train on me. Choo choo. Okay? I ain't uh, Lauren London, but I'm the new 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 okay that motherfucker meant that shit <laughs> right okay and then my man got the, the georgia fitted on that come on man like i said uh I, I i couldn't do it i couldn't do it and I'm, I'm just trying to understand what's going on over there man i don't know if they if, if they dropping uh motherfucking uh, uh chemicals in the, in the chemtrails over there and they spraying shit that's making niggas somehow become attracted to other niggas i don't know what's going on over there but it kind of seems like there, it's a conspiracy going on because when i nigga i grew up listening to beanie siegel okay jada kiss dmx okay them niggas what the fuck is this and my question is once again i gotta go back to ti the name of the song is Banghead T.I. You rain, you you rep Banghead T.I. Where the fuck is you at? Say something, nigga, and, and say it with your chest. And then look at these weird, look at these lost bitches. You, you got three of these hoes fucking twerking on a, a nigga in a wig, man. And I think I seen, um... The album. I think I've seen an album. Okay. So apparently the name of the album is called Blunts and Bundles. Okay. <laughs> Shit, it's out of control, man. Like, sometimes you got to sit down and ask God why. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me, we have a Operation Turnout. <laughs> I'm dead. Let's see. Brother says love and hip hop. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Love and hip hop uh, made Cardi be relevant and rich. Sad to say, 
<sighs> let's see, let's see. Uh, Kimmy, Kimmy want beef with me. She's tight. She says it's three people in here want to know why because you're speaking about people's city. It's the it's in the water. That's a fact. They put a lot of um a lot of fluoride and a lot of chemicals in the water, but a lot of people a lot of people don't want to want to believe that shit. Let's see. Listen, we oh this is like I said, Kimmy. Um, we're not offensive over here. This is a pro-truth, pro-objective, and pro-good character channel. We got to keep it a buck. Um, now, the other dude in the video, his name is Jay Will. I guess he was on Love & Hip Hop too. Okay. This kid is 25 years old, whatever the case may be. But uh, it's fucking weird, man. Let me have him in the comments. <laughs> My man Jamel says, I can't even throw up no more. My stomach hurt. Uh, this this is for real. They are coming out hard. That's why I try to tell y'all. Look, we did a video a couple of days ago. Um, it was about Lil Wayne, but within that video, we were talking about how it's time for a new genre, man. You already we already know the agendas. That's see, it's one thing to to look at what's happening on the surface level. It's an, and then you know, but if you're if you're spiritually dead, if you're if you're not intelligent or self aware enough to know what's really happening, then you can't you you can't have a conversation with somebody that you know what I mean. That is, and the bigger picture here is obviously this is is really depopulation. Let's just keep it a whole buck. They want niggas to stop fucking bitches. That's really what they want, and not just niggas. They want white men to um stop fucking you know women. They want black men to stop fucking women. Whatever whatever race you are as a man, they want you to stop fucking women. They want you to either be asexual or fuck, fuck a nigga that look like you. That's really what's happening here. Because there's no fucking way. This It's not natural, the trajectory. The How do you go from Rakim to candy? How does that happen, my nigga? And the crazy shit is, and, may, and maybe, you know, the females can chime in, but the crazy shit is the, ch the females on planet Earth that support transgender men, like niggas that, you know, play dress up. That's the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Dude, don't you realize this nigga that's dressing up as a female that still has a dick in his pants is literally mocking you? Don't you realize? And then, you know, you got these females out here that are so fucking lost and just want to hop on the bandwagon of everything. They don't even realize and then they want this equality shit, but let's keep it, you know, but shout out the queens, but I'm just talking to the bitches right now and the thoughts. You got you got motherfuckers like Bruce Jenner out here that trans that not even just he's a nigga that puts on girl clothes. And what does he do? He goes on to win a woman's award. A, I think it was a woman's courage award. How is he? He still has a pogo stick between his legs. And and the thing that kills me is like that's hilarious because women support that, but in reality, all it is is another example of a man being better at something than you are. And the fact that a man can be better at being a female than you and you support that, that just shows how many females are literally lost and spiritually dead. Okay. This shit makes no sense, man. This shit makes no sense. And every nigga in this video should be ashamed of themselves. Every nigga in this video, you already know. These niggas, these niggas in this video, dog, you already know what they be doing, man. They pillow biters, man. Let's keep it a buck. Oh, they pillows got bite marks in it. The fucking cotton all hanging out the damn shit. Go over, have a sleepover. Then you're like, nigga, you be eating the pillow? What are you? What you got going on over here, man? You was hungry last night. <laughs> you was hungry last night. Jamel says, where's the Me Too movement? Nowhere to be found. It's a lot of crazy shit going on out here. Um, but I had to do a video on this because I'm seeing where this is going. I'm seeing where this is going. I think, that, let's see how many views this video has. And then let's hop up into the comment section. We're going to get up out of here. But, um. 
this video has a hundred, and this is I it just got uploaded today. We got uh the Queen Keys to win on a check-in. Um the video has a hundred and seventy-nine thousand views in one day. Okay, now let's hop up into the comments section and see how social media is reacting to this. You know, let's just call it what it is, man. <laughs> Just call it what it is, man. Like I, I don't like sodomite gang. Like, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um now let's see. Let's let's refresh this and see how social media is reacting to candy. Okay, from from the ATL from the ATL. Now listen to this. Everybody in the video needs to kill themselves. Um this motherfucker said time. <laughs> this man says, what's entertaining about a uh, stick in an organ and a hole of feces? They some feces hunters, man. There's something about it. It's something about it, man. It's just something about it. This is a tuck your dick gang gang shit. The motherfucker says sound like little Wayne. Y'all gotta listen to this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this motherfucker says the tranny is mad thick though. I will say this. Um fuck that nigga, but the beat, when you listen to this song, the beat go. The beat is hard. I'm gonna keep it a whole buck with you. The beat, the beat is hard. But whatever the, this motherfucker sound like they were smoking crack in the studio. When you hear this person's voice, I don't know what's going on with this motherfucker. This person says, and the blood stamped this, uh, WTF, I'm glad I'm a solo dolo nigga. This person says, be honest, who surprised this coming out of Atlanta? <laughs> Yo, see? Look, I'm, I'm not the only one. This person says, Bankhead is the gayest hood in America. God damn. That's crazy. This this nigga said uh, some cuz out there beating the crab, beating the crab meat to this right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They wanna, you know, this motherfucker candy. You know, this motherfucker wanna be your feces friend. Okay. Now let's see. Let me just read a couple more. <laughs> this nigga said, F word headquarters, Atlanta. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Yo. This person says, do you still have to put transsexual in front of rappers if they're from Atlanta? Damn. Now, look, like I said, I'm not, this is not a, I'm not bashing transgenders or trans. I'm just telling the, and telling the truth. And the truth is, there are only two genders. I don't give a fuck what the TV say. I don't give a fuck what social media say. I don't care about none of that. Do you know how I know there's only two genders? Because uh, I got what, you know, I got a motherfucking, uh, you know, I know what I got. And I know what a female got. I've never seen nothing in the middle. I've never seen alien pussy running around here. Um, E.T. pussy, I've never seen nothing else. I've only seen a vagina. I've never fucking even seen a hermaphrodite. I've never even seen a nigga with, with both of them. I've only seen a vagina my whole life. So, And I know what I got, so that means there's only two. Um, it's the eye test. Okay, there is no other genders. All that shit, you're going to tell me. Let's, let's, just, let's have a real conversation for a second. If we if we really paying attention to what's happening right now, are you gonna tell me that this candy person suffers from like a real gender dysphoria or whatever whatever the fuck they tie them into that? Like this person really feels like they're a woman trapped in a man's body, or do you feel like this nigga is clout chasing and just trying to get? Um, some quick money. Okay, you let me know. <laughs> Key says, "Okay, I'm done. What the hell? 
Uh, you got Johnny Vibe in the building. He says, uh, Pembsey warned us a long time ago, something down there in that water in Atlanta. That's a fact. Pembsey called him out. And you see what happened to him, man. And it, and it's sad. It's sad. It's sad because with all the people, with all the legends in, we'll just say this genre, okay? This person is identifying himself as a rapper. Where the fuck is the Jay-Zs or the Nas or the people that have did it and, you know, are regarded as legends. They're regarded as you have a voice in this genre of music, but only the culture. Where the fuck are they at? And and the fact that they're silent about how this culture, how this hip hop culture or rap culture has taken such a sharp and abrupt um turn, it, their silence shows that they can they 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 consent, they give consent to this. That's just a fact. If you see somebody getting their ass whooped in the middle of the street and you don't do nothing, that means you're okay with it. So if you see you made all this money, you okay for the rest. You're good financially for the rest of your life. Your children are good. Your great-grandchildren are good. So on and so forth. They, they're potentially well off for the rest of their life off of this platform and genre that you were able to be successful from. But you don't give a fuck about the longevity of it. You don't give a fuck about the the next nigga, the next rapper that comes up that could potentially not only be better than you, but can push the culture in a more productive um, direction. That just shows you, like, I'm black, but niggas be on some fuck shit. It just shows you right there. <laughs> My man Super Chop says, "I'm tired of these black men." Turning into black women. Damn, that's a fact. Let's see. Kimmy K says, are they hurting you? Yes. Yes, they are hurting me because you got to look at the bigger picture. These people are confused and chaotic. And, and I'm going to direct this straight to you, Kimmy, because since you, since you want, you want, look, you coming at me, let's get it. Let's get to it, Kimmy. Okay. Are they hurting? Are they hurting me? Yes, but they're also hurting you. I just told you how they're hurting you. When you come outside your house now, when you if you go somewhere, see this is this is what I'm trying to say. This video has almost two hundred thousand views in one day. By the end of the week, this video could potentially have a million plus views. What I'm trying to say is the bigger picture is this. I'm pretty you say you live in Atlanta. Okay. When you go to, when you go out of your state or when you go out of the country, this is what people from other countries are literally watching and think that's trending and think this is what black women, okay? Correct correct me if I'm wrong, but you a black woman. This is when you go to other countries or when you just simply you could be in America, but be around people that just um belong to different cultures. My point that I'm trying to make is when you go around those people, they're not going to see you, Kimmy, for who you are. They're going to see this motherfucker. When they look in your eyes, they're going to see Candy and this uh, Bankhead song and niggas just gyrating on top of each other. That's what they're going to see. That's the point that I'm trying to make. It's the perception. When you think of white people, you think of white people rule the world. When you think of black people, what do you think of? Go ahead. I'll wait. So perception, even though I live, I dwell and live in reality, perception does play, you know, a big part of it. When, Like I just said, when you think of white people, you think of, oh, white people rule the world and they got money and they have families and they have houses and they have homes. That's what you think of. That's, that's what you think of because not only do they have it, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they've had it for so fucking long. You know what I'm saying? That they're always going to be perceived to have it, unless something catastroph catastrophic or whatever the fuck the word is. There you go. My man said, <laughs> uh, uh, "Q says gun violence." So here we go. She says, "Am I sexually confused? Uh, are are they turning you gay?" Oh man. So I, I clearly. Um, Clearly, Kimmy's missing the whole point. It's unfortunate that I'm wasting my time trying to convey this message. 
But at the end of the day, this motherfucker dressing up as a woman, putting a wig on and gyrating all over the music set, um, it's, it's disrespectful to all females because he's mocking a female. Okay, it's it's the it's pretty much the equivalent of blackface for a female. Okay, it's the equivalent. If you can't understand that, then I'm sorry. One of my shooters gonna have to hit you like respectfully. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see. We got the we got the big dog Barack Longmire in the building. Uh, Q says, man, uh, gangster rap turned to gangster rap. That's a fact. Johnny Vib says, that's why my efforts dumber than ever, no sense of direction. Uh, Kenny is an undercover tranny lover. What? Who is Kenny? <laughs> Damn. Hey, hold on. We, we going there. Man, shout out Peace went on the check-in, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, man. Y'all already know. I was on timeout. For, yeah, I, man, look. <laughs> y'all already know. Look at this nigga right here, man. Look, hold on, 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 man. Look at this nigga right here, man. Look at this nigga right here, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Licking his lips like LL Cool J and shit. Get the fuck up out of my face, nigga. But yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Hold on, hold on. Kimmy says, how would you feel if a white man got on YouTube and said, Oh, he just a thug and he just hood. I don't know what she's talking about. <clears throat> he said you was born with a vagina. He said, oh Jaheen looking at man, listen. This motherfucker, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even go to Applebee's with this nigga looking like this, man. Weird ass looking motherfucker. <laughs> and don't hey, hey, put some respect on Jaheen too, man. Jaheen, Jaheen was that nigga. Jaheen would probably knock this nigga out. But we got the we got the motherfucking. Uh, the family in the building, man. Shout out Johnny Vib, uh, the big dog Barack Long <laughs> Longmire on the check. He said, This is a disgrace. It is, it is, it's absolutely a disgrace. Q says, Oh, give me some booty. <laughs> I mean, look, they they you know, how many of us have them friends, fecal friends? They fecal friends, man. You know what I'm saying. Let's see. Uh, shout out the laziest sniper, Jamel Collins. We, we already know we got the queen keys to win. Peace swing on the check in, man. I appreciate y'all rocking. Kimmy hating on truth. It is what it is. Super chop in the building. Triple salute. It is what it is, man. Uh, shout out the brother, man. Uh, brother DL one on the check in, man. But we got somebody got to tell the truth, man. And we don't even get paid to do this shit. So it is what it is. <laughs> she said, I'll be back. <laughs> Listen, Kimmy, rock with us, man. It's it's I'm telling you, when when you look when you when when you just admit to the truth of what's going on out here, the, the pasture is greener, your conscience becomes clear, and self-awareness is it, it, a beautiful thing. This shit is gay. There is no of uh, nothing else. This is a man with a wig on. With family dollar hoop earrings, grinding on another nigga that I, that think he a OG triple OG. This shit is gay, and and the fact that no one like tip if the Ti got forty eight hours to respond, he really got twenty four, but I'm gonna give him forty eight. Ti has forty eight hours to respond. Ti, you said you claim bank head, nigga. You better say something about this. You better say something about this. No, nigga. Oh, I'm from Riverdale. Nigga, you better say something about this. That's keep it a buck. Y'all need to hit up tip. Listen, I don't even fuck with I don't even fuck with TI. That nigga was telling y'all to snitch on each other, man. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was telling y'all to snitch on each other. Oh man. God damn, Q. Q says a man's butt is more important than food and water head ass. <laughs> Oh shit! Y'all going in? <laughs> Get upset with the tranny, not the master. I'm dead. I'm dead. Um, 
But what are you genuinely upset with, Kimmy? You you genuinely upset with me, or are you upset that uh that uh soy boys are taking over uh, such a beautiful culture we used to call hip hop? Peace swing got it. He says they want to feminize the black man and take our black women. Uh, shaking my head, niggas falling for it. That's a fact. Okay, okay, all right. He said I ain't with the petty shit. <laughs> All right, let me see if I got any more points before we sign up out of here, man. Like I said, man, y'all need to go. Y'all need to go. Y'all, look, look. Before you form your opinion or whatever the case may be, you need to go watch this video. The link is going to be in the description, okay? It's a lot of flexible behavior going on in this video. It's a lot of confusion and chaos, all right? So if you're not, if you're not ready for that, you, you know what I mean? Brace yourself, right? And I just, like I said, going going back to Omar from The Wire, that motherfucker is like the Mike Jordan of booty pirates. Let's keep it a buck. Niggas then fucked around and watched The Wire. They didn't watch. They got posters of Omar on the ceiling. When they wake up, they say, "Hey, daddy!" Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this? Oh, I blame Omar. I blame Omar. That's who I blame. I blame Omar. Y'all can let me know in the comment section who y'all blame for making this shit trend in or seem popular. But me personally, I blame Omar from The Wire. Hell of an actor. He was too good. He was too good. He was too good at being gay on that TV show. He was too good, and and now you got niggas out here that they're. How do I say this? How do I say this? They're pretty much living through him, you know. But I do get this motherfucker credit for going to the studio. It's a lot of um, it's a lot of it's a lot of rappers and singers, um, out here that make amazing music and that could really move the culture in a positive direction, but they don't be going to the studio. I know a couple, I know a couple of people that if their songs were on the radio, they would change the, they would change everything. You know what I'm saying? So, but they don't, they don't go to the studio. So I do, if nothing else I do get this, I will never knock somebody's hard work. You know what I'm saying? That, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta make that bread to go to the studio and record and you gotta make the video. It's a lot that goes into it. Um, but as far as the message, this is definitely not. It's, come on, this is not. This is not a productive message to anybody. There's nothing stain about this product. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and that's the thing. And and just going back to what we were saying about TT, everybody in the comment section was telling me that TT is a, a complete joke. So if TT is a com if, if TT is a complete joke and nobody's taking this seriously, then my question that I got to pose is, okay, are we supposed to take candy seriously? That's the question I want to pose. Are we supposed to take candy seriously? Okay? So when I hear when I hear this motherfucker on a rap song, or whatever the case may be, or on that latest album, uh, Blunts and Bundles, all right? Whoever playing that shit in their car, <laughs> am I supposed to take, like, okay, like who, you know what I'm saying? What part of the game is that? You know what I'm saying? And we went through the comment section. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's good. It's refreshing. And even and even in the comment section with y'all, it's good to see that there's still some sanity. Okay? God, nigga, are you kidding me? I got a dick. And I'm going I'm to embrace it. That's a super fact. Now let's see. Y'all going in. Let me see. Q says, I'm not putting myself in a situation. <laughs> Barack's, Barack says, low key, I'm not watching that shit. I'm telling you, man, that beat go, though. That beat go, though. Uh, Q says, them niggas playing lightsabers. Johnny Vib, shout out the newcomer Johnny Vib on the check, and he says something in the water down there in Atlanta. 
A young thug made it cool. Young thug, another one, another one, another nigga. Yo, I was playing Call of Duty, okay? Call of Duty is one of the most manly games you can play. Or you, you shoot niggas in the face and you talk shit. That's all you do on Call of Duty. There's nothing else, okay? I'm playing Call of Duty and this nigga was listening to Young Thug in the background. It was, and, and on top of that, it was a Spanish motherfucker, and all he kept saying was nigga this and nigga that. I'm like, you are a confused motherfucker. Your whole life ain't shit. You don't know what's going on with you, bro. And he was trying to talk shit. He was trying to talk tough. I said, bro, you, we, can't, we can't do this. I can't talk tough to you, bro. You got a nigga that wear wedding dresses on on your speakers. You probably call your homies bae a hubby. I can't do I can't do that with you, man. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Peace went. Oh, I gotta show y'all some other shit. Uh Peace Win says, have you seen that Jack in the Box commercial with the dudes twerking? Hell no, I ain't see that. But you know what I did hear about? I heard that. You know what? I'm gonna look it up for y'all. I ain't even gonna say it. I'm gonna look it up for y'all. Let's see. Oh, can we go on this? He says, What if a gay man posts a video in Detroit? You gonna talk about him? I don't give a fuck about Detroit. Respectfully. I'm from Jersey. I don't give a fuck about Jersey either. Um, Q says, I'm from Atlanta. And I'm not gay. That's what's up, Q. You better thank Jesus. You better get on your fucking knees right now and thank the creator. That's a super fact. Baraka says, I don't listen to radio anymore. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> going A. Booty. Hashtag booty bandits, man. They'll take it. They'll fucking take it. He said, that's my home city. He said, stop trashing Atlanta. I'm not trashing Atlanta. I'm trashing the niggas in Atlanta. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, Atlanta got to take this L today. <laughs> it's a sad day, man. He said, but for real, though. No. <laughs> hey, man. Damn. Hold on. What was I about to show y'all? Oh, yeah. I'm going to show y'all this, man. Like I said, if if... To all my to all my men out there, man, if 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 you confused or you are you not sure, you feel like the programming is trying to creep in. Listen, pause, no homo. Grab your fucking nuts, man, and man the fuck up. Get some icy hot. Get some gold bond. Something. Man the fuck up. Man the fuck up. Say I'm I'm gonna be a nigga for life. I'm saying, put on some DMX, man. Slap the shit out of something, man. You know what I'm saying? Man the fuck up. Man the fuck up. Don't let the programming get you. I don't want to hear about one of y'all. Y'all don't know. I love my subscribers. Y'all family to me. I don't want to hear about none of y'all twerking on the gram. You a grown ass man. All right? Now let me show y'all what I was going to show y'all. It's everywhere. It's crazy. And, I'm and, and you know what's crazy? It's going to get to the point where... It's going to get to the point where being a straight man, it kind of already is, but it's going to get to the point where being a straight man is lame. <laughs> it's going to be whack. He's going to be like, oh, you straight, man? Now, look at this. I wanted to show y'all this. Look at this bullshit. Now, I don't know. I don't know if y'all fuck with football or not. I'm rooting for the Patriots. Tom Brady is a uh, white Jesus, respectfully. Um, but apparently at the Super Bowl, I think it's on this Sunday, there are going to be male cheerleaders. Not, you know, they they to help. No, they're going to be male cheerleaders. They're going to be shaking their ass and touching on themselves uh, for, the, for the public's viewing pleasure. Okay, not for mine, for y'all. Okay? <laughs> All right? Did y'all hear about this? He's like, he's got to be a train <laughs> Oh, yeah. Johnny Bibb says Atlanta community leaders need to come together and figure this ish out. <laughs> uh, he said, fuck the Rams, fuck the Patriots. 
a lot of things are turning them out. That's crazy. He said Atlanta been taking that. Look at Young Jock. Y'all remember Young Jock? Ain't he from uh, Atlanta? That nigga look hella fruity now. Um, but let, how do y'all feel about this? How do y'all feel about male cheerleaders that's gonna be in the Super Bowl, man? You know they gonna be uh, sashaying. You know they gonna be throwing it back. Okay, how do y'all feel about that shit? This is crazy. And this is another. Okay, look the the bigger picture here is uh, you know Mr. Top and Mr. Bottom over here. At the end of the day, it's still disrespectful to women. Those are two slots on a on a you know on a cheerleading squad that really in reality belongs to women. Men don't come to, listen. Men don't watch football on TV or buy tickets to see men shake their ass on a, on a football field. Since when? Listen to this. Angeles Rams cheerleaders. Uh, Quentin Perron and Napoleon Jennies will be making history Sunday when they appear on the field at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. God damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> yo, 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 Q, what you going to do about this, man? I hope you drew up a petition. What you going to do about this, Q? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, you know, I'll be honest. Young Jock looked like a teenage white bitch, in my opinion. Uh, Peace Swin says Tom Brady gets a six ring to match MJ's six rings. Black goat and white goat. That's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> he said we fit the fight. Um, can we get tight? He said they have the same rights as us. You missing the big picture. You're missing the big picture, Kimmy. They disrespecting you. They disrespecting you. Um, Peace Man says, just look how much shit showing niggas is bitches. <laughs> Damn. I, I was watching this commercial, man, and it was David Ortiz. I think he played for the Boston Red Sox, okay? In the commercial, he was, um, I think it was it was a promo for the Super Bowl. Why did David Ortiz, or they call him, what they call him, Big Poppy? Okay, it's a big Spanish dude. He's supposed to be manly, right? He's supposed to be masculine, right? Why does this man have on nail polish? He had on black nail polish on his hands. So what I'm trying to say is, for the billionth time, this shit is gay, It's and, but it's an agenda that's being forced down your throats. It's 2019. We've been programmed not to care. It's 2019, 2015. We've been we've been being programmed not to, you know, to be desensitized. Nobody cares anymore. I don't care if a motherfucker is gay. My issue is with the powers that be or the media or the people that are pulling the strings to force this agenda or narrative or programming or trend down everyone else's throats. It's wrong. It's not natural, and it's not. It's not humane. Okay, so they can be. They, see, this is the thing that kills me about um, the LGBT community. They their whole thing is equality, equality, equality. Okay, meaning everybody can can be their own person and think for themselves, or, or live their own live their own life for truth, or whatever the case may be. But as soon as you don't agree. With what they got going on, they get mad at you. But you just said equality. So you can feel how you feel. And I, I'm expecting you to accept I, the, the fact that I can feel how I feel. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, these motherfuckers. See, the thing is this. This is the thing with a lot of these people. And the collateral. Let's just keep it a buck. The collateral damage is the people that are blind, is the sheep, is the people that identify as, uh, you know, lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transsexual, but they don't understand the big picture themselves. Okay, if if you accept yourself as a human being, 
You don't need validation from not no motherfucker else in this planet. Not your mother, not your father, not your auntie, not your crackhead uncle. Nobody. Not June bug down the street that fix up shit around the house. Nobody. Not your bitch. No one. You once you once you you accept yourself and you love and embrace yourself. You don't need nigga. Fuck off. I know me. I'm good. <laughs> Come on, man. But you got these flamboyant ass motherfuckers that are out here trying to force by the masses. They're trying to force people to agree with their lifestyle. Yo, man, listen, I've been wanting to make a video about this for the longest. How vibe with me and let me vibe with me. And I, I, I want to ask y'all this question and I'm going to hop in the chat to read y'all answer. How is it that because a nigga choose to put his his thing in the hole above the natural hole? Like, how is it that? <laughs> how is it that? If a nigga put his dick in this hole and not that hole, his whole life different. You know what I'm trying to say? Like his whole life different. If you, you kind of like, you know what I'm saying? If I put it in, you know what I'm saying, with a placenta be, we vibing, we cool. I'm saying you good, I'm good. But then if I put it in the other hole, you know what I'm saying? They got the uh, Hershey squirts and shit. It come like everything is different. It's complicated. We got to take on different personas and shit. I don't understand that. Why does a whole dictate your lifestyle for these people? You know what I'm trying to say? Like what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Jamel. Um, Jamel says they coming for the children too. That's 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 really what I'm upset about. <laughs> California ain't going for that. Um, Q says he got hundred a hundred points in one playoff game. <laughs> there is no one getting you to believe that all Atlanta. I didn't say all Atlanta was bad. I'm just saying the dudes over there that's you know that's living foul. You know what I'm saying? He said I he said I fucked with you. What Baraka? What Baraka said? He said Wilt was wet. Y'all talk about basketball. I'm dead. He said you do care. Uh, Kimmy says you do care about uh, gay people, or you wouldn't be talking. I don't know. Maybe she's not even talking to me. No. Damn. <laughs> These niggas talking about sports and shit. Um. Well, shit, man. Right, Y'all let me know. I just all I really want to know is. Why is it that if a uh, what motherfucker put his put his thing in this hole, you know his life is one way, you know his lifestyle, his livelihood is one way, but if he put his thing in another hole, shit just go all the way left. We talking uh, blonde, you know, weaving, blonde sewing weaves, skirts, fingernail polish, like what? Is, I'll never understand that. I'll never understand that. How can a whole dictate your life, you know, your lifestyle? So y'all, y'all let me know. Um, you said make a sports video. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, we talk. We'll, we'll talk about some shit. Um, let's start tomorrow. But now, now we going. <laughs> Atlanta gotta take this L. <laughs> That's a fact, man. So uh, uh, let me just read like five or six more comments and then we're going to slide up out of here, man. But uh, y'all definitely got to watch this shit, man. So y'all can y'all can form your own opinion. Um, this video probably up to 200,000 views by now. This motherfucker says, best rapper alive, pants down. Damn, this nigga says, I know Dennis Rodman said he has a secret, but this nigga is tripping. 
See, they says gay gang, they coming for your ass. Be careful in Atlanta. I'm just saying, can you imagine pulling up? You just going to 7 Eleven to get you a Slim Jim, some vitamin water, and one of grandma's cookies and, and five dollars worth of gas. That's all you got. That's you got just enough for those for those four items. Can you imagine somebody taking your ass in that short, you know? Time lapse. Can you imagine somebody pulling up on you, threatening to abduct the booty? Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> oh, don't, 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 don't. Please don't go in on on Andre three thousand, man. He said Andre 3K started that gay shit, not Young Thug. But now Thugger is the mascot. I got to stop you there, and I got to correct you, bro. No, sir. No, sir. Andre was fucking around with Erica Badu. She put the voodoo on him. Okay? She had that nigga wearing all types of head wraps and uh, skin-tight clothes glitter you know what i'm saying so it, it, listen if you've ever had fire pussy in your life listen we only men okay you only a man if you ever had fire pussy in, in, in your life you'll understand that it'll make you do some shit out of character for a while until you until you get back you know what i'm saying i was just fucking them girls i was gonna get right back you know what i'm saying i ain't saying it make you do some gay shit i think that Andre 3K, he was just exploring his, you know, spiritual side, his, you know, uh, lighter side, uh, you know, li lighter being side, right? You know what I'm saying? And I think that was it. But I definitely don't think Andre 3K was uh, getting blown out. I'm going to keep it a buck. Now, Young Thug, oh, oh, you, you can only imagine uh, the nigga escorts. He, he be having... Uh, Waiting for him in his hotel room. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> um, let's see. Damn. Damn, Kimmy. Okay. See you. See you. Um, Peace Wynn says, they want no morality and anything goes. That's a fact. You said, yo, Jamel said, keep weapons on you at all times. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, shout out, shout out to kings and queens in the chat, man. I fuck with y'all. Keys, where you at, Keys? Keys, where you at? Johnny Vibe says, uh, even back in the days when I seen Andre 3K wearing all that weird ish, uh, I know in my gut and soul something wasn't right. Listen, man, you gotta put some respect on Andre 3K name, man. I'm I'm trying to get a verse, Nick. Uh, the big dog says, you know, it's fucked how they have turned. Atlanta into into uh, the gay ass city within the black race. That's a fact, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. So let's read a couple more comments. Uh, oh shit! This motherfucker says black women destroyed Atlanta in the '90s. All that hot Atlanta ish and effing various different niggas from out of state. The niggas bounced back to their state and left these dumb itches with kids that eventually wanted to become their mamas what you see today is cause and effect and that's what i'm that's what i'm trying to convey to a lot of people you can't live in the moment if you give a fuck about anything you know what i'm saying if you give a fuck about anything you have to treat it as if you know longevity and the fact that it's just a, look look man the fact that nobody's speaking out or coming out or saying anything about um this gay culture and you know within rap and they're trying to make you know they're trying to like uh program a lot of black men to accept being okay with being gay or bisexual no man no it's wrong it's it's just wrong you know what i'm saying <laughs> niggas is swore fighting <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know it's always a bigger picture man and when I talk to the kings, y'all get me. Y'all know where I'm coming from. Um, 
But when you know when I'm when I'm talking to a lot of females, a lot of females they think with the emotional part of their brain, so they don't they don't they can't tap into that logical long that longevity side. You know what I'm saying? Um, not you know not saying that there's not queens out there that can be put on, but you know to be able to be able to understand what's going on, you have to want. You have to want to. That, that's just really what's happening. He said, "Yeah, and if we keeping it a buck." If we keeping it a buck, Eve was the first bitch to fuck over a nigga since the beginning of time. So let's keep, let's be honest. Let's be honest. She had one job. She, the bitch had one job. That tree over there, leave that shit alone. She couldn't even do that. You got the whole garden. You know what I'm saying to run around and frolic butt ass snake it. You couldn't even do that. And then who got fucked over? Adam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Donnie Vibe says, uh, bank head where the niggas are giving head, not receiving. <laughs> See some more comments. Uh, it says so. He's from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Okay, he said every nigga in this video is gay. All right, all I'm saying, Q. I don't know if you currently uh, reside in Atlanta, but I'm just all I want to say to you, Q, is you need to be safe out there. Like I said, I don't want you to get caught up at a what they got a a wah wah. What they got over there in Atlanta? A quick a quick trip. <laughs> I don't want you to get caught up, man. All right, it's a different era, and the all my real niggas, the only, the only, the motto is this: keep your anus intact, man. Don't fall off. Stay tight. Stay solid. Okay, because in a couple years, dude, 10, 20 years, I'm telling you, being a straight male is gonna be you're gonna be looked at as uh, uncool. You're gonna be looked at as whack. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> Give me the best. She said, There are women that want to be men. It's not our fault. Y'all dumb ass men want to copy. Johnny Vibe says, I'm sorry, Atlanta, but y'all got to gain my respect back with a real niggas that help me understand. Um, well, damn, Q, that's how you feel. <laughs> He said, just say the word. <laughs> nah, Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy rocking with us. Like I said, this is all about, you know, everybody has a different timetable of when they want to come into the enlightenment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Baraka says, uh, women telling them to give them head, meaning eating their, eating their pussy. You said, what's up with that? I eat a bad bitch pussy. I ain't got no problem with that. You know what I'm saying I, I might even put it on a pedestal if you know if it if it if it tastes like aquafina you know what I'm saying now let's see right <laughs> he said this is gonna be on the star report tonight um this person says you already know these niggas in the video to shoot some crazy mall efforts they don't give a f this person says, find you a good trendy that knows how to keep ish quiet. So we gonna, I'm going to slide out, y'all. But um, he said, the South is the gay nigga capital. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I'm glad I live up. I, I'm glad I live up uh, up North, man. I couldn't deal with that shit. You know what I'm saying? You try to befriend a nigga. You don't know if he wants your ass. Or, you know what I'm saying? A uh, 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 real friendship. Like nigga, why you? Why do you want to be friends with me? You got to do background checks on niggas. You know what I'm saying? You gonna try to you you gonna try to take it, ain't you? What cat will? What money Mike said? You you tried to take it. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Listen, we gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna dip out on this man. I'm gonna dip out on this man. I think I told this story before, but. One of my friends was was fucking extremely upset because he was friends with uh this dude 
we all went to high school together. But this dude he was friends with, they were friends for like 10 years. And out of nowhere, out of nowhere, he's like, oh, bro, I'm getting married, da 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 and he's like, all right. Um, so he looked at the he looked at the chick that the dude was getting married to, and the dude, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the chick was a nigga. The chick was a nigga. So he tells me, and I'm like, oh shit. So yeah. So you never. So the nigga was just pretty much telling me like, yo, I don't know if this nigga. Was trying to like, you know, fuck me all these years. You know what I'm saying? So you got to keep your eyes open and you got to keep your anus intact. And that, that's the message of the day. That's the message of the day. That's the, I don't know what else to tell y'all, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what else to tell y'all, man. He said, now I'm, st- nah, I'm kind of starting to get <laughs> Oh shit! I know you're not with the Star Boys. He said, "I eat pussy, but don't tell me to get." Yeah, that's kind of weird. That's a little. That's a little uh, masculine. You know what I'm saying? I never had a chick tell me, you know, you know, give me head. Like I ain't nah. I ain't never had that shit. You know what I'm saying? Saying make a sports video. What you what what sports video you want to talk about, Q? I kind of got shit to do, man. What what sports video you talk? Look at this nigga here, man. Look at this nigga here, man. Oh, Lord Jesus, man. I'm sorry. I just don't want to be here no more. Let's see. Kimmy says, but I can't be mad at you. It do take men longer to notice. Notice what, Kimmy? What, what is you talking about? What is you talking about? All right, well, we're going to slide up out of here. Like I said, the link is going to be in the description, y'all. So definitely watch this video. Form your own opinion. Um, it's very, it, 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 it's funny, but it's terrifying at the same time. It, it's 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 a roller coaster, that video is. And at the end of the day, all I'm left with is just, what did I just watch? What are you trying to sell me? Is this going to be the new epidemic? A whole fucking army of Omar from the Wire clones, you know, come to just bona fide booty warriors coming to listen. They prefer it the hard way. They prefer to take your ass. So, I mean, to be honest with you, if you live down south, you might want to migrate north, and that's low key T trying to help you out. And that's all. That's I'm gonna leave it there. So with that, shout out the kings and queens on the chat, man. Um, um, you but hold tight, all that. Shout out Dave Chappelle, man. I mean, let me just show y'all this motherfucker one more time. It's candy. Uh, I mean, you know, shout out the motherfucker going to the studio, putting in work. But th- th- I, this was the wrong type of work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I don't know how I would feel. If I'm walking down the street and I see this nigga approaching me, I don't know how I would feel. I don't, I really don't. I really don't, man. Okay. Uh fuck, god damn. Come on, man. Is that fucking offset in the background? Is that the Migos in the background? Y'all tell me. <laughs> well, shout out the kings and queens on the chat, man. Shout out the young hitter Q Dawson checking in. The newcomer Johnny Vibe. Uh, the laziest sniper, Jamel Collins, uh, hating ass Kimmy Cakes, respectfully. The big dog, Baraka Longmire, uh, the queen keys the win on the check in. Who else we got up in here? Shout out the brother, DL1, peace win on the check in, man. Y'all was turning up in the chat, man. I fucks with y'all, and I appreciate the love and support, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not talking shit about. Um, these motherfuckers, they're clearly lost in whatever the case may be. My goal is to speak out and talk about the agenda that's snowballing downhill. That's not only going to affect us, but our children and your little cousins and so on and so forth throughout the generations. Because I'd be damned if I have a son, okay, and... This motherfucker's on his iPhone, and now he want to be gay because he saw Candy. Uh, he listened to Candy Bankhead, nigga, jaw rating with his belly hole out. 
Okay, pubic hair is all over his. He got taco meat all over his motherfucking belly button. All right. So with that, definitely, uh, you know, triple salute to y'all. He said, I've seen enough of this thing. <laughs> triple salute to y'all. Got my channel back. Pray to God this shit stay up, man. <laughs> if, if YouTube put me on timeout again, y'all, if they knock me off, I'm gone, man. I'm gone. Y'all just going to have to see me when y'all see me, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Alien versus Predator looking at his whole Look at this nigga here, man. Anyway, <laughs> it's a shim. But um, definitely hop over to the Mr. Super Fact store. Uh, like I said, I designed this clothing, but it's uh, inspired by all of the kings and queens that uh, has been showing me love on my channel. Uh, we almost have a thousand subscribers throughout my three channels because I keep getting um, banned or whatever the case may be or put on timeout. But triple salute to all of y'all. The link to the Mr. Super Fact store will be in the chat. In the chat, in the description, I repeat, the link to the Mr. Superfact store will be in the description. He said, if my little cousin turned gay, I'm beating the gay out of him. What uh, what what Dave Chappelle said? <laughs> he said, uh, he put a he was like, he put a broomstick in me, and then he just, I don't know, I forgot what he said. Fuck it, <laughs> I, I forget what he said. Fuck no. But uh, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. We're gonna talk about some sports, I guess, in the next video. But uh, with that, man, be safe, man, and, and and protect protect yourself at all times. Okay, this agenda on some for real, for real shit and closing this agenda that's coming down right now. That's there's a snowball effect. This gay agenda is a contact sport, so protect your ass at all times, man. It's low key, and I am a Mister Super Facts. Nigga run up in me, his whole family gonna disappear. That's allegedly. <laughs>